Last year, WD launched the SN750, a high-end NVMe SSD, which was the first to offer the option of a built-in heatsink, so it could maintain peak performance for longer under high loads. And performance-wise, it offered the best performance we'd seen from an NVMe SSD until the latest crop of PCIe 4 versions came along, offering increased bandwidth. That wasn't all of the story though, as the SN750 was able to maintain a write speed of around 1.5 gigabytes per second after its initial DRAM buffer was filled. This meant that for larger file copies, the SN750 still outperformed all bar the best of the new PCIe 4 drives too, held back only by the PCIe 3 bus. And rather than just re-release the same drive with PCIe 4 compatibility, WD has been working behind the scenes to produce a true next-gen NVMe SSD. And this is it, the SN850. It boasts a whopping 7,000 megabytes per second read and up to 5,300 megabytes per second write, far exceeding most other PCIe 4 SSDs, which top out at just 5,000 megabytes per second. IOPS are also significantly up at 1 million, nearly double most other NVMe SSDs out there, and it has a terabytes written rating of 600, so more than enough for most, along with a five-year warranty. So we're seeing what should be true next-gen performance from this new SSD. That's important too, with the need for faster access to our data becoming far more prevalent. We doubt you'll see significant benefits in things like booting up your PC, for example, but where we are going to see a benefit is in things like gaming. If you have an NVIDIA RTX graphics card, then the new NVIDIA I.O. feature gives it direct access to your SSD, loading levels and textures straight into the GPU memory without going through the CPU first. This will save CPU cycles, but more importantly, it's a much faster path, meaning that level loading could pretty much be a thing of the past. Content creators will also benefit massively from increased SSD speeds, especially with 8K and 12K footage starting to come into the mainstream, meaning huge file sizes being moved back and forth, as well as the ability to watch multiple high-res sources at the same time without dropping frames. So the only thing left to do now is put the SN850 into our test PC and see how it does. Our test system for this was a 3XS Vengeance R9. This one features an AMD Ryzen 9 3950X along with an Asus X570F motherboard, 32GB of RAM and an NVIDIA RTX 3080. First up, we're using Crystal Dismark to do a synthetic benchmark. This allows us to see the potential speed of the drive without any bottlenecks. And true to its spec, we can see that 7,000 megabytes per second is real, and the write speed is right up there too at over 5,400 megabytes per second. These are the fastest speeds that we've seen from a single SSD to date. Next up, something a little bit more real world. We're going to copy a large file from our PCIe 4 boot drive SSD to the SN850. Copying files like this isn't a great way to see the potential speed of an SSD. However, what we do see will be a good real-world indication for copying files. And what we're really interested to see is the write speed of the SSD when it's past any initial cache phase. This shows us the true speed of the memory itself. First up, we have a 32GB video file in MP4 format. This gets us a write speed average of about 1.8GB per second, again the fastest we've seen to date around 300 megabytes per second, or just over 15% faster than the SN750. Next up, we have a 60 gigabyte game folder. This contains lots of different file types and sizes, so generally it gives us the slowest speeds. The SN850 manages to maintain a solid performance here too, with an average speed of 1.7 gigabytes per second, completing the copy in just 38 seconds. So that's our first look at the new SN850 from WD. Right now, it's the fastest single SSD we've ever tested. If you have a PCIe 4 PC, currently only available from AMD, then it's one that should definitely be on your wish list. But it's also worth remembering that this is also a worthy upgrade from an Intel platform with PCIe 3.2. 
Sure, you won't get the maximum 7,000 megabytes per second for smaller operations. You'll be limited to about 3,500 megabytes per second, which is still fast. But for anything longer, you'll still start to see the benefit of the faster memory chips being able to maintain that 1.8 gigabytes a second, which should still give benefits for the gaming and content creation tasks we mentioned earlier. It'll also quite likely be a while before we see PCIe 5 in the mainstream. So on your next upgrade, you won't need to invest in a new SSD as Intel's next platform should support PCIe 4. You'll be good no matter which way you go. The SN850 is available very soon from SCAN and you'll also be able to get it in our 3XS custom configured PCs like this amazing Vengeance R9 that we have here. So what do you think of the performance of the brand new WD SN850? Is it on your wish list? Tell us in the comments what you think and don't forget if you like this video hit the like button and please subscribe for the latest videos from SCAN.